is it weird that people are starting to bring spirituality into business? I don't think it is. I will often make decisions about business based off a tarot card reading. <laughs> Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna to be talking all things business and spirituality. Can they coexist? Do they coexist? They haven't really ever before, but I think we're starting to see a new generation of business owners who are spiritually minded and it makes them better entrepreneurs. I think these two things can coexist. I think if you bring a bit of spirituality into your business, it doesn't have to be woo woo, it doesn't have to be all touchy feely. It's actually gonna make you a better entrepreneur and a better business owner. I fully believe it. I have loads of spiritual practices that I bring into my business. Is it doing anything? I don't know. Does it make me feel like something's happening? Yeah, it's the power of belief. And I wanna tell you more about them today and how you can bring those into your business to make you a better entrepreneur. I'm Sarah Aquasombi, welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching this video. I talk all things business, entrepreneurship, motivation, but I also love spirituality and magic and manifesting and money mindset. And I talk about all these things as well. And I think until now that would have been quite weird to have someone who's talking about entrepreneurship and the hustle on one side, and then the next day talking about money manifesting. But alas, times are a changing folks. This is now stuff that can coexist, which makes me very happy because these are like some of my biggest passions smushed together. <laughs> I actually love spiritual practices. I wrote a book called The Money Is Coming, which is all about money manifesting and money mindset because I'm that into this stuff. I've had to go through quite a big personal crisis in order to really come back to this. And actually I've come back to my spiritual practices like so much that I actually started a new business off the back of that because I was so passionate about it. I feel that entrepreneurs are some of the busiest, most stressed out, under pressure, under responsibility, people out there so if anybody needs grounding a bit of spiritual zen practice it is busy entrepreneurs especially if you've then got a family you know all these other things as well it's a lot and you need some things to just kind of bring you out of that and help you to remember that we are part of this huge universe and we are just tiny 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 parts of it so if you feel yourself sometimes getting so caught up in it that you feel like oh my god I'm so overwhelmed I'm feeling like I could be getting burnt out. I promise you this kind of stuff is really gonna help you. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna take you through the few different kind of rituals and things that I do on quite a regular basis in my business that help me be a better business owner. Are you ready? Get your pens out. Cards. I love cards. I have many, many, many different types of oracle cards, tarot cards. This is a tarot deck that I use quite often. These are my own cards that I designed. This is how passionately I feel about it. And as I said, I started a new business called Boss Magic. And we sell all these kind of tools because I feel like these tools are so important for people. It's a full deck of oracle cards and they're super bright and colorful and like crazy patterns. I will regularly pull myself cards. People get really worried about pulling themselves oracle cards or tarot cards because they think, what if I don't know how to read them or how does it work? But it's actually the easiest thing to do because, drum roll, doing cards is all about intuition. It's all about what do these cards mean to you? It's not fortune telling. It is what does this mean to you? Just do a one card pull, like ask a really quick question. Let's think of one. Let me give you an example. So let's say, I'm having like a challenging moment in the business right now. What is my secret weapon? Oh, this card is really trying to get out. Okay. I'm going to take this card. When cards try and jump out like that, I listen to it. All right, so this is the pizza card, right? This card is all about life is short, eat the pizza. Don't fucking overthink it. Don't stress about it. Don't guilt trip yourself like, oh, you shouldn't be eating all that junk food, da da da. Just do what feels fun right now and live in the moment. At least this is what this card means to me. It might have a different meaning to you. To you, you might see this and be like, oh, this is a sign not to be overindulgent in the business. If you don't know what 
what you're doing. It's super easy. On the Boss Magic website, we have loads of ideas for different card spreads that you can do and tells you how to use them. It's so easy to get started. Please don't be put off by using cards because you're not sure how to do it. They are just a really simple, easy tool for you to tap into your intuition. And it just feels a little bit bigger than you. It's kind of like, oh, maybe the universe like made me pull that card. Or maybe you just believe that, in which case it doesn't matter. Either way, it's absolutely fine journaling i was one of those people who was always like journaling is cringe i don't want to do journaling <laughs> but when i went through this craziness i thought do you know what i actually haven't ever done that and i had so many thoughts in my head at the end of every night that i thought do you know what just before i go to bed every night i'm just gonna dump out whatever's in my mind some people do it first thing in the morning and they call it morning pages some people do it last thing at night it doesn't matter you can do whatever works for you i've been doing a little bit of this I don't tell myself I have to do it every day I just do it as and when it feels like coming out but I do think sometimes it's worth like pushing yourself to do it because sometimes you're just like ah, I don't feel like doing it just have a little pen and notebook by the bed some of you might be like oh, that's not really a spiritual practice but I truly believe that anything that helps you connect with your inner self and listen to your own thoughts is a spiritual practice the third one that I love is crystals. Do I believe that crystals themselves have powers? I don't know. Jewelry's still out for me on that one. Do I believe that because we assign them certain like thoughts or feelings that can help us channel certain energies? Yes. So I believe that we're the power, right? For example, these yellowy orange ones, this is like honey calcite, this is orange calcite. Something about these just reminds me of like juicy oranges. Energy, sunshine. I actually put them out in the sunshine to like charge up. So whenever I wanna feel a bit like energized or I need a little pick me up, I'll go and get these. Is that because they've got some magic frequency? I don't know. Do I need to know? Not really. I don't have any magical things that I do with these crystals. I just sit and fiddle with them. I'll put one in my pocket for the day if it's the kind of one that I want or need for that day. Oh, this is a selenite wand. I heard you're supposed to like do it over your head as if you're like brushing your hair and then like flick the bad vibes away. It's like a cleansing. Is it doing anything? I don't know. Does it make me feel like something's happening? Yeah, it's the power of belief. If you don't believe, don't watch the bloody video. You wanna believe it, it'll work. If you don't wanna believe it, see you later. Like there's no point in going, ah, crystals don't work. It's like, of course they don't work if you don't believe it. <laughs> All right, the next one is to use moon cycles to set intentions and do releasing kind of stuff. That is obviously not the correct terminology. Just to keep it simple, a new moon is when the moon is completely black. You set your intentions, so things that you wanna manifest, things that you wanna happen. And again, this is great for your business because there's one new moon every month, so you can every month be setting new intentions as to what you wanna bring about in your business. And there's also a full moon every month, obviously. And a full moon is when you do like a releasing ritual. And that is where you might write down anything you wanna let go of that isn't serving you. So for example, you know, oh, I've got people talking shit about me online. I wanna make sure that that is not being held in my body. I wanna release that. A full moon is also a great time to write a gratitude list because it's things that have come to fruition and you're grateful for them. You don't need to do all of them. Maybe just pick one or two that you wanna try out. Tarot cards or oracle cards. Oracle cards are easier to start with, but tarot cards are very in-depth and very cool. The second one is journaling. Get it all out, get it all down. Beginning of the day, end of night. Crystals, lovely crystals. Doesn't matter if you believe whether they work. Moon rituals, really easy. New moon. Write down what you wanna bring into your life, full moon, what you wanna release from your life. I would love to know if you're gonna try any of these. So please do drop me a comment below and let me know which one do you think you would give a go? Have you tried any of these before? Which ones work for you? Or do you just have completely different spiritual practices that you do? In which case, I would love to hear about them because I need more. Is it weird that people are starting to bring spirituality into business? I don't think it is. I will often make decisions about business based off a tarot card reading. Sorry, old patriarchal men who think that's fun 
fucking weird. We are emotional people. I need to tap into my intuition. If the cards help me do that, then the cards help me do that. And I am not complaining. It makes me a better businesswoman. Also, please do come and check out Boss Magic, our e-commerce store where you can find all of these tools. So if you want to get started, it's a completely non-judgy space where you can come and get some goodies to help you start on your spiritual business journey. Thank you so much for watching this. Please hit like, please hit subscribe. Go and check out my other videos and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.